I'm Josh, this is Colin, and this is Perseverance, our floating off-grid home. Come explore with us as we sail to new places, we learn how to protect our environment, and see how we coexist with nature. We'll also make lots of friends along the way. We are here at the Cox Street boat ramp, just back from E-Marine. Thank you so much, Bill, for lending us your truck and your time to pick up our two new solar panels. Josh soloed the boat over here from Lake Sylvia, and uh, we just loaded up uh, from the truck right here and uh, loaded them onto the boat. So we are super excited to uh, get, these, uh, get these mounted, but for now, we gotta get back to the anchorage. And it looks like I'll be sitting on the bow holding these panels in place while we do that transit. Yeah. Do you mind uh, lining up that other end of the panel there and I'll uh, let's make sure this is close enough. Going just flat to yeah. it. Yeah. Is that flat? Close? Yeah, that's it. Shit. So we well, our measuring tape sucks. Let's get oh. <laughs> let's get it more. <laughs> I suck at measuring. It's gonna be fine. We'll just met, we'll cut inside the line fairly. We have an accord. This is how I measure. <laughs> Just as with the forward panels, our plan was to mount these two panels on square aluminum tubes that are one inch by one inch. But with these aft panels, we were going to drill through the hard top rather than using an intricate bracket setup like we did for the forward panels. Good lord, that was a lot faster than the hard top. Oh, oh man. wow. They fit first try. Perfect. Much easier than the last time we did this. Excellent. The bolts fit perfectly. We oversized them by like what an eighth inch or something. Yeah. Now the real question is, <clears throat> like, are the ends of these lined up? Which uh, we'll see. Cause I don't know. I don't know if they are. <laughs> I think they are. Colin's guess is yes. Josh's guess is. Hopefully this mounting works well because it was far easier than the way we did it before. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. So far, <laughs> it's been easier. And so far, we've only taken one trip to the hardware store. Wouldn't it be amazing if that's all it took? We should probably we should stop saying things like this because that's, <laughs> that's just begging for something. It. Famous last words. All right, so this panel is drilled. We're now drilling the attachment points from the pole to the panel, and then bolt them together and drop them in. So we. I don't even know what to explain, but last time we did this, we had a whole way to, of doing it, and there was a certain reason we did it, and then we're like, let's do it an easier way, and then we realized why we couldn't do that, we can explain it later. And so now we're trying to make this easier way work, which we'll see how and it goes. And actually, Mike pointed out first yeah. that <laughs> what we were trying to do wasn't actually possible. Yeah. So. All right, well, we'll see. we'll see if we can make this work. But now we have to drill starboard blocks that are only one inch by one inch. Should have drilled them before I cut them off of the main piece, but oh well. So it is increasingly tedious to get at the nuts that are up underneath the solar panel. And so uh, it's taking a lot of very fine uh, hand movements and balancing of wrenches and uh, yeah, super tedious, but we're making progress. I think this panel is going to be mounted completely tonight. And then that's a problem for another day. I'm gonna become your new editor. We're getting like Sean Connery. <laughs> it's gonna be the narrator. Or uh, David Attenborough. Oh, the... even better, even better. We'll have like Morgan Freeman guest star once in a while. Show up All on the board. best narrators. It'll be swimming by, you know. It may appear like we're having our guests do all the work at this point, but if my hand were not right here in this position, we wouldn't be making any progress. The boat. Everybody's got to work on a boat. Everybody's got to work on the boat. That is definitely true. Oh, yeah. Woo. It's on. It's on. Here we go. We definitely need to figure out that front corner, but for now, for now, we're good. We'll figure out that corner later. <laughs> we got lights now. We got lights. So Josh has a self-made tool here. Well, this was Colin's idea. Did you just hear him give me credit? This was your idea, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. We're going to stick this under the panel, 
and hopefully it will go over the metal tube, the one inch metal tube, onto the bolt that is through the hard top here, and on the bottom we can ratchet it if this can reach all the way to the center, because we're gonna be reaching quite far. So we'll see if we can make this work. It'll honestly be easy to from here if you could do it from here as well. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well that is totally working. I think it's totally <laughs> working. <laughs> that is insane. This is amazing. You can tighten that other bolt now. Is that good? Sweet. Oh my god, that worked. Well, it was Josh's idea to use a to use a dowel. It was my idea just to find something long, but I didn't have a way to identify Where whatever that was. Going? Awesome. I've been losing sleep over this problem, so this, this oh. is... This makes the <laughs> install so much easier, too, than the what we did before. All right, that one's on there. Awesome. Oh my gosh. This is better than Christmas. Huge thanks to our friends Mike and Dre for helping us set up these panels. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's what the four panels looked like when they were finally installed. 1500 watts of solar. So we are currently giving the boat an endoscopy. These are great little cameras and you can explore tight spaces where you're gonna run wires. What you doing? <laughs> we're cutting out some boards to mount our MPPTs on. So oh, that looks have, good. So we don't have to mount them to the wall. So we're gonna glue these boards to the wall and then we're gonna screw the MPPTs into the wood? Yes. Wood to wall with 30, 4200, whatever, some adhesive. And then MPPTs on there. Same with the, what else are we still on? The um, circuit breakers. Circuit breakers will also be on blocks of wood. As close to the batteries as possible. This is the 70 amp charge controller, which some, Alex, may say is overkill, but we did get two 380 watt panels. In a perfect world, we would see 63 amps or something like that at 12 volts come out of this. And we may never see that in the real world, but we wanted to have a, a controller that could do it. Our other controller is 50 amps for two 375 watt panels. When they come to the MPVT, they're coming in at like 30, to 40 some odd volts depending on how much wattage is coming in and this changes that to 12 volt so we're mounting them to these wood blocks with just a little bit of bezel those will go up on the wall next to each other up there and we will have a nice clean setup so anyway, let's get to it now we've decided on a spot in the battery compartment where the circuit breakers are going to go these breakers are between the MPPTs and the batteries and so Josh is just making the plate that we will be uh, mounting those to. The plan is we're going to mount the circuit breakers up in here. So solar is going to come in, run through inside here, down through here to the MPPTs that will be here. And then down through here, come into the battery box, circuit breakers, and then onto the battery bus. We are at the point where we are going to be disconnecting the solar array. Uh, we've drilled a hole, Josh drilled a hole, in the hardtop and in the deck, which are now epoxy sealed. And that is going to be the wire run for the solar panels. So as we are currently in full Florida sun, getting almost 300 watts of power, we need to cover the solar panels before we disconnect them. And that is the next step. We have Mike here for supervisory duty. That's right. He's making sure the work is getting complete. Making sure, you know, nobody gets zapped or anything, <laughs> and, you know. He's going to call a safety timeout if we get too, right. if we get too crazy. Oh, OSHA, OSHA. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are you pushing at all? I'm trying. Well, okay, the, uh, you're on rope now. We're stringed. Did you try pulling it? Like seven feet. Oh, good. We're good. I kind of tied it. Can somebody hold this end? Oh, you got it. It's coming through. Nice. Can you, can you hold this end just so it doesn't fall on the bottom of the bilge? Yeah. I'll pull it out the back. Yeah. Sweet. There Let's it is. See. All right, we've taken the whole cable out. It's a 40 foot cable, so hopefully it's enough to make two. 
20 foot cables all the way. It's duplex wire, right? So it's like two 10 gauge yeah. wires inside of like UV weather shielding. Yeah. Thumb the stowaway. <laughs> you edit me out. <laughs> all right. So these, this duplex wire, or whatever you call it, fits perfectly in here. Oh, Ooh. trick. Frickin' frack. I gotta duplex? Put this And when you tighten it down, it will cinch on the wire. And I'm hoping, let's find out, we'll hold it in place. So Wait, you gotta hold the back end. Oh, yeah. You're, you're basically uh, so tightening yes. your grip on it. This is great. Look at this fucking fit. Wait, wait, wait. Should we, there you go. There you go. Wow. On the other side. I'm excited. So this will just go all the way into the boat. We're gonna run the whole wire through this thing. 40 feet. <laughs> Lieutenant Luna. <laughs> Pirate dog. Like that's a good angle. More port than aft, but. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good. It's good where it's at. One second. I think it's just curling up. Let's let us hold up. Let us use. If we drop a string with a weight on it, it might just slide right on. Like, yeah, I think that would work quite if well. We're lucky. I don't know. No, I think that's perfect. I don't think. I've moved on to just supervisory duty. You want to try push, Josh? What did you do? We fished this through, so now we can bring our big wire in. And thanks to our camera, everyone should have one of these cameras. Um, we need to put the other clam through that first. Wouldn't that suck if we had done that in reverse order? So yeah. you, you worked on like clam boats. What kind of what kind of species this, of clam is this? This is a stumper. I'm not sure. This is <laughs> this is a southern clam here. It's out of my uh, out of my range for clamming. I know cohogs. This, this one's no cohog. Should I just leave it out, maybe? On the front side? Yeah, it looks fine. I'll still mess with it. Josh demands perfection. Alright, so all of the new wires are now rerouted through the new hole here. And so we are going to. Uh, I think we're gonna hook up the MPPT first to the batteries, and that way we'll get it powered. Um, usually when you first power on these MPPTs, they have some updates that they have to run um, to the software. And uh, after that, we'll connect to the solar array, make sure all of the settings are good before we let it start charging the batteries. So, here we go. So we attached the new MPPT. We've got solar coming in. It's got 480 watts coming in, so we have a total of 55 to 60 amps coming in between our four panels. That is, what, 480 and 350 watts? Almost 1,000 watts coming Just in. coming in out of, yeah. what, 1,500 about? Yeah, 1,510. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And we're gonna have tons of power. I mean, we're bringing in, with some shading on all of the panels from our stays and stuff, and the boom, like if we put the boom on the other side, we might get, be getting even more performance out of the front panel. We are getting 50 amps. So, I mean, if we got 60 amps right now. So, I mean, that's just a lot of power coming in all the time. It's amazing. For reference, my laptop uses like 20 to 25 amps at max, max draw. If we had that DC air conditioner, that would be 35 amps at max with air conditioning. Like full cold. Whereas like... our AC powered air conditioner would be 125 amps, um, which would be kind of unrealistic to want to run um, off solar. Um, what was the water maker that we want to get? Like oh something? yeah, something like so, that. So. And you run that a couple hours every few days. I mean, we're bringing enough power right now that we could run the air conditioner like on anything less than full cold and the water maker. The water like maker. let's say that's yeah, 45 yeah. and 30, and that's 70. And just like, to not yeah. lose any power, but you're only running the water maker for a couple hours. Yeah. I could be running my laptop with an air conditioner. We'd still be gaining some amount of power. But we're going to be able to take hot showers all the time. Oh, yeah. A water heater, that's what, 100, 110 amps, something like that. We usually run that for 20 minutes, so we might end up running that longer now. Yeah. The boat is an insane disaster. It's I'm so excited to put it back together. Time to clean up. Yes. So. All right. That was, uh, what, two days of wiring? Or three days? Uh, yeah. Casual No, day. two days. We just I mounted mean, the wood yesterday. Yeah, it, was it was yesterday morning. We, so. weren't, we weren't moving very fast. Yeah. We were moving very methodically. Yeah. So. But we didn't have to make any surprise trips to the hardware store. So Josh did a really good job of uh, identifying every piece we would need. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, all right.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It really helps our channel grow. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon.